Hi everyone and welcome to the Stock Swoosh Play of the Day for May 10th, 2016 presented by thestockswoosh.com. Today's play is going to be presented with our co-partner eSignal. These are eSignal charts and the play today was on FIT. This is the daily chart of FIT. If you take a look, this stock actually was a feature um, that we did in the room. Melissa actually did this play um, three days ago, which was really the primary day to do it on the day that it gapped. But I also like to hang on to the symbols, to the charts of these stocks that gap down and follow them for a couple, three more days because oftentimes the powerful institutional money that is causing these gaps continues to get follow through for two, three, four days. So I like to follow them until they no longer continue to follow that pattern of bearishness or bullishness, whichever the case may be. Remember when a stock gaps, it's powerful money doing it. It's not trader's money like you or I probably have. It's big, powerful institutional money. And remember also that when a stock gaps, there are naturally people who want to go long and want to go short, but more importantly, there are people that have to go long or have to sell the stock in order to take care of existing positions. And this is what makes a lot of gaps very powerful because it's not an option for a lot of people and it's not just small traders. Remember, if a institution or many, many funds have stocks that gap down, they are actually not even allowed to hold them many times because they are below the threshold that they're allowed to take a loss in. So a lot of times these get selling uh, by a matter of absolute mandatory nature. So these can be a great places to continue to follow. So the daily chart here today, I did not find a lot of things that I love. There were a few things that moved. They weren't on my primary watch list. Not a lot of stuff that I was watching moved a lot today. This is the best mover that I actually had. And it was from a stock that gapped a couple days ago. This is the one minute chart of FIT and it had opened up here in the morning. I wasn't really that excited about it when it opened because it had gapped up a little bit but then I was watching it and as it was one of the charts that I have several that I watch it all of a sudden put in this big red bar and fell sharply below yesterday's consolidation. That little rally back gave an opportunity to get short have a relatively tight stop in there. Naturally, you have to always limit your risk in case you are wrong. This particular setup is a very, very high odd setup the way this, this happened. It was very unlikely this trade was stopped out over this area up in here. The question is, of course, how much room does it have to drop today? And it ended up being a fairly narrow day. So this is not a big play. It was a very safe play. With a 3,000 share amount based on the area I added in here to work with, it was about a $540 risk amount if I was wrong. The profit is only 745. It's only one and a half reward to risk trade. Not normally something to brag about, but it was the best that I had today, and it was a very safe trade. Also, it had the opportunity to go much lower. Notice this this dropped. It just went sideways for the day. And when I made this new low, I thought this was it. As a matter of fact, my target was just a few cents below here for the first half. I let it come back, and right here, when it didn't follow through, it's very important to understand how to manage some of these trades. You want to get all you can out of them, but you don't want to give back too much profit either. It should have continued lower right here. When it didn't do that, I knew it was going to be sideways or higher. That actually was the low of the day right there. So some good management um, got me out of this at the proper spot with not a home run trade, but nevertheless a good trade. And you know what may have been the best that I had for what I was looking at on this particular day. Understanding gaps like this is a great way to trade. It also allows you to trade just the morning hours, the first 30, 60 minutes of the day. For those of you that are interested in a system like this, we suggest that you take a look at the course that we teach, which is called the Golden Gap Course. We're teaching it this Saturday and Sunday coming up, May 14th to 15th. And if you're not able to make that weekend course coming up, you can also get more information at an upcoming free event that we have. You can take a look at the screen, contact us at the phone number or the email below. Thanks for listening, everyone. I hope you found this educational. Until next time, this is Paul for the thestockswoosh.com.